I am so excited to share a project I have been working on. Back during the summer in August, I wanted to make a candy corn soap and I was like, I wish I had an extruder, but there weren't, I couldn't find anyone who made candy corn pieces. So I got it in my head that, well, I could make it if I got a 3D printer. But I was like, I couldn't justify getting a printer just so I could make disc here and there. Uh, just wasn't something that was in the budget or something I, like I said, I could justify doing. So then Christmas, as I started working on the holiday and Christmas soaps, there was another shape I wanted and then there was another shape. And so it got into my head that, you know, I have the ability and the talent to make these and since I want these shapes, there's potentially a need with other soap makers wanting them. So I started doing lots and lots of research on 3D printers and I did finally get one and I have been starting to make all these discs. So the first ones I made were candy corns. It was obviously past Halloween, but I couldn't help it. It was, that's what got this whole thing started. So. I made some candy corns and then I used them in a holiday soap. So they're holiday candy corns. Um, I have two sizes. I have them for the 18 millimeter Macon extruder and the 23 millimeter uh, Fimo extruder. So I then was like okay so this was really cool and so I started playing around with more shapes and making soaps and I absolutely I just I've been in love I love this the shapes are fun they create cool soaps um, and so yeah I wanted to share with you the holiday collection of extruders that I made. More will be coming and I know it's kind of a little late for the holiday for soap but I'm putting them out there now. Um, so this is my candy cane. I have small and large. I'll show you a little clip of me using the candy cane extruder in just a moment so you can see how it works and comes out. But it basically creates, so that's the small candy cane and this is the large again one's made with the 23 millimeter disc and one with the 18. so i was really excited how those turned out after making that i then the second thing this was the one that actually convinced me to get the <laughs> the 3d printer was i wanted christmas lights um and so I just, I couldn't get it out of my head. I really, I wanted Christmas lights. So I have large and small and they are absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh, I love how these turned out. So here's an example of the large and that's the small. Um, this one got a little misshaped, but you can see there's, there's a pretty big difference in size. I've already used them in soap. So this was the small, and then these were the large. Um, I just put them in white because I wanted to see how they contrasted and looked. These are much more uniform. These kind of I put every which way. I adore them. I have ideas for next year for how to create some fun designs with them. But yeah, that's the, the large like um, Christmas light, and those are the small. Um, just a little decoration on top. I placed them there. But... I was so happy with with how the Christmas lights turned out. I made some stockings, um, large and small. I haven't used these in soap yet, but I'm very excited to. Um, so there's a base, which is the stocking, and then a top, um, which is kind of the fluffy white part of it. So you would be extruding two pieces of soap for that disc. Then I made bells. 
bells with a little bow. They are, again, two sizes. So if you use the 18 or the 23, you have the option for both. I adore how these turned out as well. Um, my design is less than inspired. Um, I, again, a lot of these I was just testing how they came, how they worked in soap, and I wasn't getting too complicated. Um, so this is one I would definitely, you can see I put a little bell on top, um, have ideas for. I was trying to pair them together to make it look like two bells. Um, I used the large and then the small. I should have paired the small and the small and the large and large together, but that's okay. But you can see they look really cute. I like the contrast, at least on this white. Um, the, the gray and the red really stands out. So those are the holiday bells. Then <laughs> I made gingerbread people. Um, so again, you see a large and a small. I put these in soap. The design is not my best, I admit. Um, but again, I was kind of just playing around. I was using these. I wanted to see how they worked, how, you know, how they worked in soap, how they look, make sure that they did and performed the way they were supposed to. So these are some little pieces that I cut from the end. So you can see. <laughs> Aren't they just too cute for words? Um, this is my dancing family. <laughs> um, they kind of went a little sideways, this one, and I didn't get them down enough, and my lines weren't straight. So I know, again, I was just kind of playing around. This is not a perfect bar of soap, but you can see how the little men and women look. And I think they're just... I think they're adorable. Next up, I made these trees. So they're two slightly different outlines. Um, I only have these in the, the 23 millimeter size. Um, they're just too, you can't get the detail and they would be too small for the smaller disc. So this is the tree. This is how it looks. You can see it's very tiny. Um, I love them, but they're definitely small. I put them in a soap and I realized just how small they are. I had definitely would have to do a different design, change the perspective, um, so they don't get so lost. But again, I was just playing around so you can see how they look in the soap. So those are the ones I've actually made in soap. I have two others that I haven't made in soap yet. Um, a holly leaf and a group of three berries. Again, in both sizes. So this is what they look like. But I squished my berry end a little there. Um, let's see if that side's better. So you have the, the berry and the leaf and you can put them together to create a set. I'll use those in soap to, uh, today actually, that's my plan. And then the last one, the last set of the holiday ones are my candles. Um, a little flame and a candle. I'm going to attempt a design that's a little bit complicated today. We'll see how that turns out. Hopefully it turns out cute. Um, but yeah. So... There's the candle, and there's the flame. So when you put them together, now you could use this for Christmas, you could use this for a birthday or presents. There's a lot of different uses. Um, it doesn't just have to be Christmas. But the idea I had was Christmas related and hence why I created the candle. This is the small one. So that's, we have a large candle and a small candle. So I'll use those in soap today. But I'll post some pictures in this video so you can see the how they look in the final end product. So yeah, there you have it. Those are my extruder discs. They are listed on the webpage and available for purchase. I make these 
per order. So it will take a couple days, depending on how many extruders you order, to make them and then package them up and ship them. Just a heads up, there is a little bit of turnaround time. Um, those are the Christmas lights. These are the large size. They just make me smile. So yeah, if you are interested in them, definitely check out my webpage. If you have questions, let me know. I'm here, I'm happy to, to answer them for you. Um, right now, the webpage is only set up to ship in the US. It does not ship outside the US. If you are located outside of the US and you would like to order them, simply send me an email with what you want and your address of where you're located and I will calculate the shipping cost for you and then if you're okay with that, I can create a custom invoice for you. So there you have it. Look for more to come. I have so many ideas and I've been playing around and having way too much fun with this. And yeah, I hope you're as excited as I am about these. Um, and there you have it.